frequently asked question. Question number one. What is a co-link? In Yu-Gi-Oh! Link monsters with two or more effects have the word co-link embedded in their effect. However, it may be exceptions to this rule with certain link monsters. Now, let's carry on. So, co-link means that the link monster in question needs to have its link marker and its own link marker points to another link marker's link monster on your side of the field. Let's give an example of this because this sounds a bit confusing. Let's say we have a fire wall dragon. Fire wall dragon has link markers like a cross. One above, one below, one left and one right. For Firewall Dragon to activate its effect, since it has no link embedded in its effect, we need a link monster that we control having a link marker pointing to one of the link markers that is on Firewall Dragon, so that Firewall Dragon can activate its effect. If this does not take place, then Firewall Dragon cannot activate its effect. Question number two. Why do Brave effects Yu-Gi-Oh! avoid field effects. In Yu-Gi-Oh! effects on the field don't usually affect effects in the graveyard unless a particular effect on the field has a specified effect that does so. Anyway, let's move on. Let's say my opponent is using a Malefic deck and I am using Readers. Now, Malefic are a series of monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh that can be special summoned if you control the field spell and only one Malefic monster can attack at a time. So the opponent would put in their deck Skill Drain. By paying 1000 life points it negates all effects of monsters in the field, meaning that they could special summon a multiple of Malefic monsters from their hand and attack me with a series of powerful monsters. Now. For argument's sake, I'll be using Greedles. Greedles are an archetype that activates the effect in the graveyard by taking control of a monster my opponent controls. In a situation like this, since my opponent has activated Skill Drain and has summoned a multitude of Malefic monsters with very high attack, he would attack my face down Greedle monster. Now, Yes, in this situation, my Greedle monsters will not activate their effect on the field. However, this is rendered irrelevant because my Greedle monsters activate their effect in the graveyard. As soon as they are killed, the effect of my Greedles will activate, taking its malefic monster. This is an example of why graveyard effects at times in Yu-Gi-Oh! is better than field effects. Question number three. When multiple chains are activated, which player gets priority? In normal circumstances, the turn player has priority. However, there are certain instances when chaining can be quite deep for both players. So how do we resolve this? Well, there are four steps. 1. Activation of effects. When both players are in a heated chain battle, the player that started the effect first is the one that initiates the chain. So player 1 activated effect, it goes to player 2, alternating back to player 1, then player 2. Step 2, timing of effects. The last effect in the chain is what will activate first, going backwards. Step 3. Priority. As we said earlier in this conversation, it will go to the turn player. Step 4. If, after all these steps, chaining is still taking place by both players, we enter the ROKE system. ROKE stands for Removal of Activation Conditions. Question number 4. What is the ROKE system? Allow me to explain the rope system. Rope in Yu-Gi-Oh! stands for removal of activation condition. If you as a player masters the rope system, then you truly will become a Yu-Gi-Oh! master. So allow
let me give you an example of how to fully utilize the rope system. Here is an example. We have a quick play spell card known as Twin Twister. Twin Twister has the following effect. Discard one card, then target up to two spell or trap cards on the field, destroy them. Now, there are two ways you can negate Twin Twister. One, you could negate it with a counter effect, or you could use the rogue system, which is what you ask. Well, you remove the activation conditions for Twin Twister to activate. For Twin Twister to activate, the opponent needs to discard one card. So, if the opponent, for whatever reason, cannot discard one card, they cannot activate the effect of Twin Twister. Equally, if there are no two spells or traps on the field, then Twin Twister cannot activate its effect. This is an example of you using the rope system to guide you in victory. You are now one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate is in your hands. Like and subscribe. Hate and subscribe. You could decide to not subscribe at all. The choice is yours. Goodbye.